everyone, my name is Adam. I have a cool workshop for you today. Uh, it's just a simple one talking about those little icons that appear at the bottom of an image thumbnail in ACDC. So I wanted to demystify those little icons, talk about what they mean, uh, and sort of what they indicate for the users. Uh, this was actually a, a workshop suggestion. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to our workshop so you can sign up for that and participate in those. They're like a live tutorial event that goes for about an hour. And then also, uh, this uh, was a suggestion from a tutorial that I had uploaded uh, just in our comment section as well. So if you have any uh, uh, topics that you'd like to have covered in a tutorial, uh, please outline them in the comments below and I always read those and I turn as many of those into tutorials as I can. So without further ado, here's talking about the uh, thumbnail icons and what they mean. There are a total of nine commonly seen icons in ACDC that appear beneath your image thumbnail. Let's go over each one. Embed pending. Let's start with one of the most important thumbnail icons. Embed pending is an icon that looks like a film canister. The icon indicates that metadata has been stored in the database, but has yet to be written to the file. For example, if I rate a file using ACDC, you'll notice that the embed pending icon pops up. So this rating has been added to the database, but should be embedded within the file itself. To embed your metadata, right click your file and navigate to metadata embed ACDC metadata. A pop-up screen will allow you to choose ACDC metadata or ACDC face data or both. The benefit of this is if you lose your database accidentally or it becomes corrupted somehow, you can reconstruct it using the embedded metadata. All you need to do is navigate to Tools, Database, and Catalog Files. Category. The category icon looks like a retail price tag. It indicates simply enough that the category has been added to a particular file. Categories are a form of ACDC metadata that allows you to add a word descriptor to your file. To add a category to your file, navigate to the Properties panel and click the Organize tab. A couple default categories are available, but you can also create new sets by clicking on the dropdown and selecting New Quick Categories Set. You can also create a new category on its own by right-clicking the category list. Here, I will right-click the list and create a new top-level category called Travel. You click the square box next to your category in order to apply it to your image. Collections. The collection icon appears as two category icons stacked on top of each other. It indicates that a collection has been added to a particular file. You can use the collections pane to group accumulated photos based on a common variable, such as the camera used, location, or size. You could also use collections to group photos for sorting, processing, sharing, and much more. To add a collection, simply right-click the Smart Collections box and create a new collection. Once your collection has been added, you must click on the square box next to it to apply it. Tagged. The tagged icon is a small checkbox that appears in grayscale as you hover over your thumbnail image. Tagging is a binary ACDC metadata. It is either turned off or turned on. Most people use tagging their images to indicate that they need to do something to their image, whether it be editing them or simply adding more metadata. To tag an image, you can click the grayscale icon in the thumbnail itself, or you can use the properties organize panel to add a tag. The tag icon is located on the top left. Geotagged. The geotagged icon looks like a map point. Geotagging appears on cell phone images and other camera images where your location, aka your latitude and your longitude, at the time of the photo being taken is added to the image's EXIF metadata. Clicking on the map point icon itself will open up the map tool and it will indicate where the image was taken. The map tool can be opened up independently of the icon itself by navigating to panes and to map. Auto rotate. Auto rotate is indicated by the two circular arrows in its icon. This icon appears if the file has been automatically rotated. 
you can left click the rotate icon to permanently rotate the file and update the EXIF information. Developed. The developed icon is a circle that has one dark gray side and one light gray side. It appears in your thumbnails when you have taken the file into develop mode, made some adjustments, and applied them by saving them. Let's quickly take an image into develop mode. I'll reduce the light EQ midtones in my image and slightly reduce the highlights. When I'm done my edits, I'll click the manage mode icon and save my changes. Upon saving, you'll see that the icon appears on the left of the thumbnail. Note that I can right click my image, navigate to process, and then restore to original. Restoring my image will remove all developments and the developed icon. Snapshots. Snapshots are indicated by the shutter with a small frame icon. Snapshots are developments that have been saved to individual files in develop mode. I'll open up an image in develop mode. In this image, I'll select the cyan of the sky and increase the contrast and hue. Once I'm done, I'll navigate to the snapshot menu on the right. Click the plus button to add a new snapshot. I will name this snapshot. Next, I can create more edits. So I can create a tone curve, for example, and even a white balance adjustment to my image and create a second snapshot. The second snapshot will appear on my snapshot list. And now what I can do is I can swap between the two snapshots and the respective developments will be applied. Navigating back to manage mode, you will see the snapshot icon appear on the bottom left hand corner. Edited. The edited icon looks like a little pen. The edited icon means that a writable file has been opened in edit mode and some edits have been saved to the file. I'll open this JPEG image and make a simple light EQ adjustment. When I'm done, the adjustment I'll click Manage Mode and ensure to save changes to this image. When I arrive in Manage Mode, you will see that the pen icon is in the thumbnail. Like Develop Mode, an image can be restored to its original properties by navigating to Process and Restore to Original. Unlike develop mode, however, saving your edit adjustments flattens the image, so changing the light EQ adjustment now that we just made is not possible. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. Most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.